हेलो फ्रेंड्स टू डिस क्वेश्चन ए सर्कुलर डिस्क डी वन ऑफ मास एम एंड इट इज आर हैज टू आइडेंटिकल डिस्क डी टू एंड डी थ्री ऑफ द सेम मास एम एंड इट इज आर अटैच रिजिडली एट इट्स ऑपोजिट एंड सी फिगर द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ द सिस्टम अबाउट द एक्सिस ओ ओ प्राइम थ्रू द सेंटर ऑफ डी वन शून फिगर विल बी सो वी हैव ए दिस डिस्क डी वन एंड विच इज हॉर्जेंटल and we have a disc d2 and d3 which are in vertical and they are attached along the we can say at the diameter opposite ends so we have to find out the moment of inertia about this axis o o prime so let us consider first of all the moment of inertia of d1 along o o prime moment of inertia of d1 about o o prime and let us say that is given as i d1 which will be equal to half mass and its radius square and now we have two disks d1 and d2 so basically this d1 and d2 are connected something like this so this is our d1 sorry this is d2 and this is d3 and they are at the opposite end of the diameter and this is our horizontal disk and we are supposed to find out the moment of inertia about o o prime so this is disk d1 we have disk d2 as well as disk d3 so let us consider first of all so we can say that for disk d2 and d3 so under this let us consider for first of all for d2 now d2 let me draw it here and this is center of d2 and it is at a distance from and this is o o prime so this distance it will be equal to r because okay. this is r and this is also r this will be r r distance and first of all we are going to find out the moment of inertia of d2 about its diameter okay and then we are going to use theorem of parallel axis so let us suppose this is our y y prime so you can say moment of inertia of d2 about its diameter that is y y prime so we can say this as i d2 will be equal to or rather we can say let us call this i diameter which will be equal to 1 half and this will be equal to of they are having the same radius and mass this will be 1 by 4 mr square and similarly we can find out the moment of inertia of this d3 about its diameter so moment of inertia of d3 about its diameter and let us say this is of second disk and this is i diameter for the third disk will be also equal to 1 by 4 and mr square now we are going to use theorem of parallel axis and find out the moment of inertia of the disk d2 as well as d3 about axis o o prime using theorem of parallel axis moment of inertia of d2 about axis o o prime so now let's call that as i d2 so i d2 will be equal to i 
diameter to plus the mass and the distance between the two axes which is r so this will be r square so we get this as 1 by 4 m r square plus m r square so this will be 5.4 m r square similarly we can find out for d3 also similarly i d3 will be equal to 5 by 4 and m r square now we know all the moment of inertia we can say the total moment of inertia about the axis o o prime total moment of inertia of the system about x is o, o prime and let us call this as i system this will be equal to moment of inertia of disk d1 plus moment of inertia disk d2 and moment of inertia plus d3 so our i d1 was half mr square and d2 and d3 are same this will be twice and we get this as 5 over 1 4 mr square so this can be written as half mr square plus 5.2 mr square this cancel by 2 so we get i system will be equal to we take in a 12 lcm so this will be 6 mr square upon 2 this goes by 3 so we get moment of inertia of the entire system will be equal to 3 mr square so we were supposed to find out what will be the moment of inertia of the system about o o prime axis so this is moment of inertia of the system about axis o o prime and from the option available you can clearly see the option number c is the correct one you can say option c is correct option so this completes the question thank you